everybody, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be doing how I did my makeup in high school challenge or tag. I know that it has been a while and a lot of them have been floating around for a while, but I thought it would be super fun to do. And I do like to do makeup challenges every now and then and throw them in here. I have done some of them. I'll link some of them above. But I thought that this one would be kind of fun because how I did it then versus how I do it now is like night and day. I will tell you, um, the now me is a little bit envious of the then me because when I was pulling this out, like trying to remember what I did, I realized how simple like my makeup was back then but definitely not as uh, pretty. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so before we get started, just a couple of things. One, I want to remind you, I do have a poll going on on my community in the community area of my YouTube channel. You just have to hit my channel, then go to community. There's a poll for my video that I'll be uploading Friday, but I have to record it Thursday. So just make sure you get your vote in there on the type of video that you want to see. I really kind of started incorporating you guys into this because I feel like it gives me more accurate um I guess like count of what you guys truly want to see so whoever gets the highest by Thursday afternoon that is the video I'm gonna do so it's as much of a surprise to me as it is to you <laughs> also I want to remind you that I do have the Ulta gift card giveaway going on for my 1,000 subscribers so I will link that above and also in the description box make sure you check that out for all the details so I never really did like crazy makeup um, I always kind of dabbled in it, but it wasn't ever like super fancy. Um, I definitely had like no high end makeup. So the stuff that I kind of have now is just because like it's what I have. I don't have a lot of drugstore brand makeup. So if there's like any drugstore brands you can recommend, go ahead and comment them below. But for the most part, I have higher end brand stuff. So I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have to go with it. So the first thing that I would do would be to put on powdered foundation. And this is NC40 in the MAC Studio Fix Powder. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be my shade because I usually use this as a setting powder for all over my face, but it's the only powder foundation and I used to go in with the L'Oreal True Match, which is also a powder foundation. I have this little sponge, it's not the one that came with it, but it's very similar. So what I would do is I would literally just dig it in here and I guess I will do it with this mirror instead of this mirror because it's kind of like what I would do. And I literally, yeah, so this is a little light, but not terrible. And I would literally just put this all over my face with like no care in the world, just drying it up. And the worst part is like, I have really dry skin and I have had really dry skin like my whole life. So I'm like, oh, I can't believe I did this. And sometimes if I was in a big hurry, I would put it like on my nose. I mean, I would put it on my face with my fingers. So I just kind of, I never really had any crazy blemishes either. In high school, it was just like my eczema and my dry skin. And that was that. I didn't do overly bronzed foundation. I usually did the wrong color because back then you couldn't really open makeup. You just had to hope it was your color and go for it. So, and then obviously I stopped at the chin. There was no blending down to the neck. So now that we have that powdery mess, like if you look, like you can still see like all of that under my skin <laughs> and it looks so ridiculous. Now, my brows right now are much fuller than they used to be. I never did anything with my brows. I just had them um, waxed very, very thin. So I'm gonna try to draw them very, very thin just so we can kind of get the same look, but I never drew, I never drew on them. I never did any of that. I'm just trying to make them like thin and black. That. I'm trying to make them like look as thin as possible, but it's not really working out for me because they are per still pretty thick. So kind of like that. And for my hair, I would usually like either scrunch it or I forgot this eyeball. I would either scrunch it or kind of part it in the middle and brush it down like I can't really show you now because my hair is short but it was like long back then and I would slick it down with this clear hair gel and put in a lower ponytail 
and it just was kind of curled here, like super straight here. So that happened. Um, I did go in with blush and today I'm going to use the Collab and this is the Soft Spot Sheer Blush in the color Unicorn. And the reason I am using this is because I never use like super dark blush and I just went in with a brush. This is a lot fancier than a brush that I would have used. Probably would have been like from a Walmart kit. <laughs> we all had them, don't judge. And I would just really get it in there. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Just enough to give me like a rosy look. All right, so we're gonna go into the eyes and I'm gonna use the Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die palette. I will honestly tell you, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in my makeup video, but I'll go ahead and link that above. This palette I paid $75 for simply because it has my name in it and I thought that was pretty cool. But it does have like a lot of like neutral earth tone options, but $75 is a lot of money for that kind of palette. And I've only ever like swatched it. I never really used it. So we're going to go in with, I think I'm going to do Fiona and Jasmine, which are the two right here, this white one and this silver one, because that's 100% what I would have done. Actually, I think I'm going to go in, Fiona's kind of shiny, with Michelle, which is a matte white, and then Jasmine, which is that silver. Um, I did not use eyeshadow like applicators or brushes so what I am about to do is completely unsanitary and please do not do this I'm going to use my fingers I just don't need anyone like ripping me apart look how white that is so and I just kind of like put it everywhere and you know what I used to think I was so freaking cool too I used to think that like my makeup was just a bomb didn't we all though really so I just lightly go in with the white I only went crazy with the silver and not with the white. So I would put the white all over my lid, like all over, especially up here near the brows. So, boom. And then up here near the uneven, skinny, any mini brows. So like that, which kind of made everything pop, right? Right, and then I take that same finger and go in with a silver, shiny silver, and I would just place it on the lid. Again, applying with my finger. And uh, I just went like this. I never cleaned it with anything. I never cleaned it with anything. I just kind of did that. And that was that. Hold on, I'm going to zoom you in so you can get a closer look. All right, so I went ahead and I zoomed you in so you could kind of see a little bit closer. I mean, I guess you really don't need to because <laughs> this is not a look I would recommend to anybody. This is just a look that I did. Now that I have that place, I'm gonna go in with a pencil liner and this is gonna be in, this is a black liner. It always has to be black. That's all I ever wore. And this was the makeup, this is the makeup forever one, but I definitely didn't have that. I think my favorite one, I wanna say was this NYX one. No, not NYX, NYC. And it was like a twist one. And I thought it was so cool because it had a twist liner, but I would literally just go in to the, right here at the top of my lid and just line it from center to, or corner to center. Just a nice thick little line. God, I can't believe I did this. Just like that. Close those eyes up, you know. No wing, no nothing, that was that. And honestly, I would pull it, but I'm trying not to pull my eye because it's really bad for your skin. But I would go like this and just draw it on. And then I will do my waterline as well. Because everything was liner. Black liner, everything. And I also did that from corner to corner. And I didn't even like tight line it to make sure it was um, fully coated on the top. I just left it like this. Like that. Okay. So now that we have the most important part, because I could walk out without lip gloss, but I was not walking out without eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, which is actually a pretty darn good drugstore mascara. And this might take me a minute, so most of it I'm probably gonna do off camera because I layered this stuff on until my lashes looked like spiders. Because back then, like, fake lashes weren't really a thing for us as kids. I don't know if it just wasn't, or if we weren't allowed to buy it, or, you know, my parents weren't buying me lashes when I was in high school. 
All right, so that's about as thick as I'm going to do it. Um, you can't really tell on camera. I don't have really big lashes, but they are um, fairly thick. I just don't want to ruin my lashes and they like get pulled out when I'm trying to clean my face off later. Um, so PSA, if you put on like 60 layers of mascara, please stop. It is not good for your lashes. Um, and they just, it's just not good. You might like the look, it might be pretty, but it can really tear up your lashes when you're trying to remove it. So, we are gonna go into, I just literally did one more thing. So, I didn't have a frosty pink gloss that I know of, so I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Diamond Milk Gloss, and again, it was definitely not Fenty brand or Sephora anything, it was more than likely um, like Smuckers or something like that, or no brand, or like the lip gloss that rolled on. So I'm gonna go in first with my MAC lipstick in the shade Pretty Please, because it's gonna give it that frosted look that I want. Let me just hold it up like this. And I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't like line them. I literally went like this. See that? I didn't even like go in, like for my cupids bow. And then I literally, this was what it was back then, your lip gloss. As long as you had six pounds of lip gloss on, you were fine. <laughs> so this is a little bit frostier than um, I would do. And so I would either do the frosty lips or I, I can't even look at myself, or I would do just clear lip gloss or like a scented lip gloss because if you didn't have the scented lip gloss then you just weren't cool <laughs> this is this is a mess this is a hot mess but i think that's it there is no primer there is no anything this is what i did in high school and how i did my makeup thankfully we have grown out of these trends and moved on and we now blend our foundation and wear foundation that is fit for our skin. Back then, um, when you're in high school, you don't really have all the options of, ooh, here's some hydrating foundation or matte foundation. You kind of just had basically drugstore for the most part. So like for me, it was like L'Oreal and stuff like that or like the Walmart gift sets, you know? So I just used to think that this look was so cool. I don't mind the liner, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of like, hey, hey you. You look so, so mysterious, that liner. I hate the silver though. But <laughs> just comment below and let me know what was your favorite makeup item when you were in high school? The one thing that you couldn't live without, whether it be a brand or just an item in general, leave it below so I can know. And as always guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.